Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video we're going to talk about a concept that on the surface may not inherently sound logical to a business manager, uh, but we're going to talk about it in a way that may open your thinking to some new ideas about how you can leverage uh, the information that your business uh, owns and retains, so data that you've collected about the market, about your customers, about your products, about uh, market trends, and be able to leverage those in new ways that may open up um, opportunities for you to better partner, to better understand the market, or just to better interact with your uh, field sales teams or your customers and so forth. So what we're going to call this is really sort of um, sharing your business knowledge with the world, opening up your data to uh, new forms of sharing that information. So I want to sort of explain this concept a little bit, and I'm not going to get into technical details, but I just want to sort of explain the concept. So let's suppose you have data uh, in lots of different forms, if you will, that your company retains, right? Uh, again, market information, product information, sales information, uh, information you know about how your customers have interacted with you, uh, what time of day they've gone to your website, all sorts of information that's collected all over places inside your business. Now, typically you hold that very, very tight. You don't want anybody to know about that. But what we're seeing with more and more companies, um, companies that you may not necessarily think are completely in the information business, some of them are in the information business, but some companies that are in the traditional product business or services business who realize, hmm, if I were to unlock some of that information, allow it to interact with the market, I don't have to necessarily give it away, but interact with the market, maybe there's some new ways that I can unlock new business opportunities, new business capabilities. So let's look at a couple of those in sort of high level detail. We won't get into any of this, but you will hear me at the end sort of talk about this term called an API. And an API, think about an API as really uh, a digital way of sharing information. It's not like the internet, but it's really a digital way of sharing information that applications use to talk to each other. So enough technical mumbo jumbo. Think about a couple of situations. Let's say you've got this information and you're saying, boy, we spent a lot of money to collect all that information. If we could maybe anonymize some of that information, we could sell it to data marketplaces, right? So there's ways to drive revenue out of your information. Maybe you're a government agency and you realize, boy, I'm trying to cover a budget deficit. I could sell my information into marketplaces. I could provide that information into marketplaces. If I'm a, an industry, uh, I mean, in a certain industry, I may want to provide that information that um, you know, markets may want to understand people that are in the automotive industry, people that are in the transportation business, people that are in, um, you know, doing things around automobiles, the things we do in our own may want to know about your information. So there's opportunities if you can anonymize that data or at least remove some of the legal aspects to it, your customer specific aspects of it. Maybe there's some market opportunities for you to sell into data marketplaces that are starting to emerge, right? That's one way of thinking about it. Another way, a simple way of thinking about it is think about all the times that you create a new application, a new way to interact with your sales force, with your customers, and you want to take that global and you go, oh wow, all of a sudden I have to internationalize it and localize it and, and manipulate it in all sorts of ways. Well, what if instead of having to do that uh, across all your information, you could just simply do it right here across the interface, the way that people interact with it, right? So instead of having English only on your application, you have English and French and German and Chinese and Japanese and you know all sorts of different languages. Well, if your data, if you're willing to sort of share your data in a consistent way, do it in a programmatic way, and only worry about the user interface, you may be able to save a lot of time and a lot of money being able to get your applications out into the field, out into apps um, in a simpler way. A third way is to start saying, well, if my partners knew more about my business, if my partners could think about better ways to add value to what I do, right, to interact with what we do, to help us create a better customer experience um, together, maybe if I opened up some information about my data to my partners, and obviously, you know, there's all sorts of ways you can control it and restrict it and secure it and so forth, but there very well may be some new ways that your partners and their creative thinking can help drive more business for you can op help open up new markets, especially if you're trying to get into new international markets or global markets or emerging markets. So if you would be you know, potentially willing to open up your data, expose some of your data, expose some of the trends that you know, and do it in a way that maybe one partner can get to it or lots of different partners can get to it because you want to go into different markets, that's another way of thinking about, hmm, how can I drive value out of my corporate data? And the fourth way maybe really is a, is a listening function from the market. 
Right? We're seeing more and more companies, whether those are you know, technology companies, typical technology companies like a Twitter or Bloomberg or somebody that's really in the information space. But if you're in the space where um, the market wants to know more about you, right? the market wants to know more about you, but if you were listening to the market, if you really were looking at how are they querying me about my data, you may start uh, unturning, you know, sort of looking under rocks, finding things, finding connections that you didn't necessarily realize that people are curious about you. They may want to know, um, you know, how do I, what colors go best with certain models of your product? What sizes go best with models of your product? What price points would they be willing to pay for your product? And a lot of this could be really direct, real-time market research, market data. So I, I made this video basically to sort of say, look, there's a shifting thought process for business leaders about technology, about cloud computing as a way of delivering it, but more importantly about their information. And maybe this information that you've held very, very secretly, very, very closely guarded, may be able to unlock tremendous new value for you, whether it's how you interact with your partners and your customers and your end users, whether it's new sources of data information for you as a business, new data products, if you will, new ways to listen to the market and be able to drive better market understanding from that, better trend understanding in the marketplace, or really looking at how do I leverage the intelligence of my partners, of the community, of some of the sort of like uh, people that want to be part of what you do, sort of your ecosystem, give them new ways to unlock value for themselves, but more so, you know, in many cases, unlocking new ways for you to think about value, unlocking ways for you to drive new value for your customers. So a lot of this may sound, um, contradictory to what you typically think about as a business manager. I've got to protect my assets. I've got to protect my intellectual property. But there are becoming more and more ways, more and more technologies, interesting understanding technologies um, around these technologies like APIs and cloud computing and the things that go with that that may help you start to say, hmm, if I think about this a little bit differently, I may be able to unlock new revenue streams, new ways to interact with the market, new ways to get feedback from my market and, and from partners that are going to help me as a business both in the short term and in the long term. So um, our blog and our website talk more in detail about you know, what all this stuff means from an API perspective, the technologies, but really want to just kind of introduce a different way of thinking about ways to leverage your data uh, to drive your business into, into good places, into new markets, and into new ways to work with your customers. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed the videos and have a chance to listen to the rest of them. Thank you.